Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Steamroller, the 18th challenge in the intermediate section. Let's take a look at what we have to do. Flatten a nested array. You must account for varying levels of nesting. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, um, if you take a look at this um, you know, function, it takes uh, one argument, it takes an array, and here is our array, and you can kind of tell that it looks a little bit funky. What's going on here? Well, this array has several subarrays, and uh, when we get right here, there's a lot of nesting happening. Uh, so there's like arrays in arrays, and uh, essentially, you know, if we give this function uh, this crazy array like this with all this nesting, we just want to flatten it and make it a one-dimensional array. So in other words, it should return this. You, you can see all the integers, all the numbers, the values. It's in a single one-dimensional array. But as you can tell here, we have like an integer and the second value is a subarray. And then the third value is like this uh, array as well. And then inside of that subarray are like multiple subarrays. So it's just like nested and crazy. So when we, when we say that flatten an array, it just means take all of the values and just make it a one dimensional array. So um, for this challenge, we're gonna use reduce. I think this is a very good candidate for the reduce method. And we're also, going to use recursion. In fact, um, I mean, I think we have to use recursion. Um, we have to, um, I mean, we have to like uh, call this function uh, an unknown number of times. I think that's a good candidate for recursion. So um, anyway, enough talking about it. Let's jump right into it. Um, I have my new JavaScript file, 18 steamroller.js, and I already went ahead and embedded that in the uh, HTML file on line 11, like I always do. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna uh, bang this out, and then I'll, I'll walk you through the code and the thought process. Um, this is certainly something uh, yeah, I mentioned before that I want to um, you know, use with the uh, reduce, but also the uh, re recursion. Um, one key element though is, um, is this hint that they give us, uh, is array. So if we put a value into this method, is array, um, it will return true or false. Uh, so let me show you an example of that. If I say uh, array is array, and then I, I pass it an array, so like this, um, that is going to return true for us. So let's go to the example.html file. We'll open up our JavaScript console. And I'm going to refresh, oops, let me pull this up right here. I'm going to refresh for us, and we get true. Okay, we get true because this value is actually an array. But if I just pass in an integer or a string or like whatever, and I uh, refresh it again, I'll get false. So um, this is going to be very helpful for us, this array method. Uh, and you'll see why in just a moment. So uh, I'm going to use the reduce. Um, and, uh, you know, reduce is really good when you want to... Um, it, when you want to take an array, something that you already have, and, um, and just transform it into something completely different. You know, map, it takes like each value of the array and it does something to it, but reduce takes an array and does something completely different with it. So I think that's a good candidate for this problem. So return array.reduce, all right, function. And, um, you know, the two essential, you know, um, you know, kind of arguments for the reduce function, um, you know, we have to pass in a callback to it, this anonymous function. And in previous activities, previous exercises, so I, I just used like the vague, the very unclear A, B. But uh, let me rename these, uh, you know, uh, 
arguments into something you know more clear, easier to understand. Um, the first argument is the accumulator, and the second argument is the uh, next uh, value of the array. And um, I believe this also takes two additional, like optional arguments, index, like the index number and the array, but we won't need those. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Um, so uh, one thing to note, um, uh, kind of in earlier activities, uh, for example, uh, the sum of all the numbers in an array, um, you know, we would just set it up like this, and then I, I, I would like write something like a plus b, and, uh, and and basically that would just you know like sum up all of the numbers, um, and um, and, you know, basically the accumulator, if we didn't, if we didn't specify what the accumulator was, it would always be like the first value of the array. And uh, for this activity, we have to specify the accumulator. So this is like the first time I've ever done this in a video. Um, but you see right here, the, between the curly brace and the, um, in this parentheses right here, well, you know this this function, this anonymous function or a callback as we call it, that's actually one argument for the reduce method. And if I put a comma right here, and um, if I put like some brackets, this brackets, this empty array, that will be the accumulator, the starting accumulator for this function. Okay, for this reduce function, if I if I didn't include that, well, by default, the first array would be this number one, this integer one, which um, doesn't exactly work. Um, I I, I want to return a flattened array, not like some numbers or anything like that. So I'm going to put this additional argument right here, an empty array. Okay. And so now um, I'm going to uh, do some sort of conditional. And the, the pseudocode, the logic that I, I'm doing, uh, just so that you can follow along, uh, I'm going to say, okay, um, this next item, all right, if, it is, if it's not an array, I'm just going to add it. I'm going to concatenate it using the concat method, the concat method. I'm going to add it to the um, accumulator. But if it is an array, I'm going to um, you know, call this method again, okay, in other words, recursion, and then I'm going to keep doing that until it's not an array, and then I can just concatenate it. So um, this is going to look a little funky, um, but let's just go ahead and do it. So if, okay, if, um, let's see, what are we going to do? If array dot is array okay next all right so basically if any of these values is an array we're going to call this function again so i'm going to say return um i'm going to re return the accumulator okay concoct and then i'll say next like that okay and if it's not an array, then I'll just say else, okay, and then I'll just say concoct next, just like that. And um, always important, um, uh, we got to return the accumulator, and I could just do it like this. And I believe this alone will work. Uh, let me just uh, save that. Go to my browser, refresh. Uh, oops, okay, something did not work here. Okay, uh, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, um, hmm. uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. It's next. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, okay. I know what happened. Um, I didn't. I didn't call the uh, steam roll. I, I didn't use the recursion right here. So I'm just gonna say steam roll array. Okay, that's what happened. Steam roll array, and I'm just going to say um, uh, okay, accumulator dot concoct next. All right, let me save that. All right, now I have my recursion set up, so it should work. I'm going to save it, and let me refresh again. There we go. Okay, sweet. So, uh, look, guys. Uh, I mean, I, I get stuck too. I get you know stumped in these problems, but you just got to think about it, and you know, you know, break up the problem to small steps. And there we have it. We have a flattened array. Uh, I'm going to check my time, and uh, I'm going to show you a slightly different method um, to solve this problem. This will certainly work. And if I, you know, if I copy and paste this into free code camp, it certainly will work. Let's just do that. And woohoo, we got the success message. That's amazing. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, let's just do this uh, slightly differently. I bet we can um, refactor this to just take up fewer lines of code. All right, so I'm just going to um, uh, delete that and let's do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to say return array reduce function function with the correct spelling. The We need the accumulator. We need the next value and I'm still going to set my um, initial accumulator to the, an empty array. Okay, so that's great. Now, this is what I'm going to do, and this is going to look quite funky, but it essentially does the same thing as the first function that we wrote just a moment ago. I'm going to say return. Okay, I'm going to say return. Okay, accumulator concoct. Okay, now inside of here, I'm going to put a ternary operator. Okay. Uh, which is just a shortened way to write an if-else statement. Okay, I got enough time. And we have the concoct method, and we know that it's just going to um, take an, uh, an array right here. So that, that's all we need to know. Let's write our ternary. So array dot is array. Okay, next. Okay, so that is our if statement. If array is an array okay so basically if the if the current value is an array all right it's going to um um it's going to do uh, this first value so it's going to call the steam roll array method okay and it is going to uh, take a value of next Okay. If the current value is not an array, if this evaluates the false, it's going to do whatever is on the right of the colon, um, which is uh, just that. Okay. So let me save that. Let me uh, go over here and refresh. Okay, I got the same thing. Exactly. All right, sweet. Let me see how much time do I have. Okay, I think I could do this. Um, so you can see here, it does essentially the same thing, but it's just about half as many lines. Let me go to free code camp. Okay, let me do the same thing. Okay, great, it works. All right, so we know concat takes a, an array as an argument, and here, okay, if the current value is an array, we're gonna run this code, all right? So if this evaluates to true, we run what's left of the colon. If this evaluates to false, this um, will return uh, or execute what's right of the colon. And so uh, if it's an array, we're just calling that recursion again, and, um, and, uh, and then if it's not, we're just going to concatenate the accumulator with whatever that number is. And so that's how it works. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you interacted with me and say hello. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, um, 
tell me what you think about my videos. I would really love any sort of feedback. Um, okay, and that's it. So happy coding, and I will see you in the next video. We are almost done with the intermediate section. Goodbye for now. Boop.